Welcome to Sichuan. Sichuan Province is located in the hinterland of southwest China and has been known as Land of Abundance since ancient times. With population of 90 million, it ranks fourth most populated province in China. It covers an area of 485,000 square kilometers, equivalent to twice the territory of Great Britain or 12 times the territory of Switzerland. Sichuan is located in the magical 30 degrees north latitude, the same latitude of the pyramids of Egypt, the Mayan ruins, and the ancient Babylonian ruins. Its topography is complex and diverse. It is Xinghai Tibetan Plateau in the west, Sichuan Basin in the middle, and hilly region in the east. Its highest point, Kunga Mountain, is 7,556 meters above sea level, 2,749 meters higher than Mont Blanc, the peak of the Alps. Its lowest point, Yangshi River, in Hushian County of Lochou City, is 203 meters above sea level. Sichuan has favorable geographical and ecological resource, which includes seven World Heritage Sites, four World Biosphere Reserves, two World Geoparks, one China's Best Tourist City, and more than 4,000 tourist attractions, ranking the first in China in terms of tourism resources. The subtropical climate and an elevation difference of 7,350 meters create fabulous natural sceneries filled with exotic and wild beauty. This is a world of mountains, high mountains and plateaus 4,000 meters above sea level, with turbulent rivers flowing by and deep valleys crossing through. The complex and volatile natural environment gives birth to a rich wildlife. Giant pandas, Sichuan golden monkeys, takin, Davidia and Volucrata and other rare species habitat and breed here. There are about 1,000 plus giant pandas, the so-called living animal fossil, living in the wild, 85% of which live in Sichuan. Located in the west of Sichuan, Oolong Giant Panda Nature Reserve is one of the world's largest wild panda protection zones and the most concentrated area for wild giant pandas. Included on the World Heritage List, Sichuan Giant Panda Sanctuaries cover 12 counties of Chengdu, Yahan, Aba, and Ganzhou Prefecture. Prehistoric dinosaur fossils unearthed in Sugung filled the gap in the dinosaur record for the Middle Jurassic period. National Geographic, an American magazine, calls Sugung Dinosaur Museum the world's best dinosaur museum. The civilization developed along the Yangshi River, and the Yellow River nurtured a splendid history and culture in Sichuan Province. From the famous Ancient Water Conservancy Project in Du Changyun to residential houses in quiet and rustic ancient towns, from amazing prehistoric sites of Buddhist and Taoist temples, rock carvings and wall murals, many historic and cultural heritage sites from the Three Kingdoms period and Han and Tang dynasties are preserved and maintained. Sichuan has a long history, and the modern Sichuan people mix both tradition and fashion in daily life, showing a unique lifestyle. Sichuan people love food, and Sichuan cuisine is famous for the hot and spicy flavor. The use of large amounts of spices and pepper in the dishes makes Sichuan cuisine one of the most popular cuisines in China. To eat in China, taste in Sichuan. Once you come to Sichuan, you are in heaven of good food. UNESCO awarded Chengdu the title The Capital of Gastronomy in February 2010. Sichuan people love tea. Tea houses are the favorite places for the locals to socialize. Tea houses in Sichuan, bars in London and cafes in Paris 
are the world's three major venues for leisure time activities. Sichuan people love liquor and wines. Favorable climate in Sichuan Basin helps produce countless high-quality liquor and wines. They love life, too. They are optimistic and inclusive, keen, open-minded, trendy, and fashionable, adding new flavor to the traditional life in this fertile land. With continued developments in the open door and cooperative policy, Sichuan has become the most important window to showcase Western China, attracting the world's attention. Sichuan is home to 10 foreign consulates, 20 foreign chambers of commerce, and trade representative offices. Sichuan has established economic and trade relations with over 200 countries or areas, with 233 Fortune 500 companies operating here. Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan province, was selected by Forbes magazine as the fastest growing city in the world in the next 10 years. The Fortune Global Forum will be held here in June 2013. Sichuan is projecting a brilliant image of prosperity and modernization. Sichuan has opened 27 international direct air routes and over 200 domestic air routes. 11 operating airports in Sichuan include Chengdu Shengliu International Airport, one of the four largest airports in China, and airports close to tourism attractions, such as Chiu Chaigo Huanlung Airport, Kangding Airport, Daochang Aden Airport, and Hongyuan Airport. The railroad network consists of 17 railways covering the whole province. The highway mileage within Sichuan has reached 283,000 kilometers, ranking first in China. Well-connected highway systems make it more and more convenient for domestic and international tourists to travel by car. Sichuan currently has 506 star-ranked hotels, including 21 five-star hotels and 101 four-star hotels. 832 professional travel agencies, including 50 international travel agencies. Sichuan is the main habitat of giant panda. A French commissioner, Almond David, went to Baoqing, Ya'an in 1869 and discovered a lovely animal. He called the animal black and white bear and sent its specimen to display at the National Museum in Paris, France. The giant panda has since been known by the world and attracted more and more visitors to its natural habitat. The giant panda is lovely with its chubby body and cute appearance. Its fur is mostly black and white. It wins the favor of the people around the world with its lovely image, building bridges of friendship between China and the rest of the world. This is a trip into the magical land. The mysterious latitude 30 degrees north is a perfect combination of magnificent natural scenery and mysterious and colorful ancient Shu civilization. Fairy tale world, Chiu Chai Go, the so-called God's Palace, and Jade Pond on Earth, Huan Lung are both located here. The place is fascinating with water in almost all natural forms and a variety of colors. The tallest Buddha statue, Lu Shan, giant Buddha, stays here. Also located here is the world-famous Mount Ume, one of the four Buddhist holy sites in China and a witness of the development of Buddhism in Sichuan over two millennia. The eternal wonders, Du Chiang Yan, and the birthplace of Taoism, Qing Chang Mountain, stretch nearly 600 kilometers along the banks of the Min River, creating a perfect journey. Sichuan is inhabited by multiple ethnic groups and is known as the Ethnic Corridor. It has China's largest Yi Ghetto, the second largest Tibetan inhabited area, and the only place in China that Qiang ethnic group resides. They use rammed earth, stones and trees from forests to build houses. 
with unique features and gradually reflect their faith in life. Their aesthetics and color design in their residential buildings, creating a picturesque scenery. Their colorful lifestyles, unique religious beliefs, and rustic folk customs help enrich the beauty of Sichuan even more. The place known as Last Shangri-La is so amazing and can even be called the ultimate beauty. Relax, walk around and breathe deeply. Once illusory Shangri-La would become more and more realistic. You can touch it and listen to it and connect with it, which makes living in a utopia no longer a distant dream. This is a pure land of nature and soul. When walking towards the end of the canyon, watching in silence the plateau and lakes under blue sky, you will feel the blend of one's soul and nature. This is truly a Shangri-La living up to its name. The further integration of tourism and agriculture, culture, forestry and other affairs in Sichuan contributes to the vigorous development of new forms of tourism such as agricultural tourism, rural tourism, cultural tourism, forest tourism, and mountain tourism. Kick off your journey to amazing Sichuan now! Welcome to Sichuan, 